Hey there, I'm Tim, Head of Training here at Pencil, and today I'm going to be doing a Skills Spotlight video for you on negative prompting. So we're going to launch straight in with this image here. This is built from a pretty good prompt, it's got a pretty good image for me, but one thing that you might notice when you look at this pizza is that on all of these images I've got extra ingredients around the edges. It's probably a sign that that's a common feature of images in the model's data set. What can I do about that? I could edit them out in Photoshop, I could edit them out with the Smart Erase tool here, or I could stop it happening in the first place with a negative prompt. We do not put do not in our negative prompt. We're going to get rid of that. That just gives us a double negative. Instead, we specify exactly what it is that we don't want and it assumes do not. So I'm saying extra tomatoes on the table, extra basil on the table, additional ingredients. Because those are the things we don't want, we're now going to generate and we're going to see do our results improve. It's not foolproof, so I'm waiting with bated breath, but we've got a first image, absolutely perfect, very relieved. A second image, absolutely perfect, no additional ingredients. And third and fourth images, it's worked really well. So like I say, it doesn't always work first time. Sometimes you have to tweak that negative prompt a little bit. But this is a great option if you need to hone an image and you're not quite getting what you need. So keep an eye out for other Skills Spotlight videos and thank you.